Hello and thank you for watching another Michelle Crawford watercolor video. I'm Michelle and today we're going to be painting a beautiful flower. I think this might be a peony but I'm not 100% sure. I gotta say thanks to Sue Rickus who posted this uh, photograph in one of the free reference photo Facebook groups. I'll post a link in the description. Um, so I'm starting off with my background here using a mix of greens and yellow to just kind of put an underpainting there for my background and now moving on to the flower. I'm starting with some permanent rose, a very light wash, trying to um, preserve a lot of the highlights I see in my reference photo. It's one of the most beautiful parts about this photo and why I think I chose it. And so starting on with this a really, really light wash, trying to uh, essentially build up the form and shape of these petals and I am going one petal at a time making sure to uh, prevent any hard edges forming in between them I will be adding some darkness but I um, want to try to keep the, the hard edges at bay so um, working uh, as things dry around the flower I'll be adding lots of layers in this uh, painting and so Again, keeping this first layer very, very light. Um, with watercolor, of course, it's always much easier to add paint than it is to take it away. Of course, we can lift paint. There's lots of ways to do that. Um, but I do uh, know that I'm using some staining color, so just trying to be as careful as I can as I um, build up the, the contrast and the darks. And so now on the left side of the flower, I'm actually adding a, li a little bit of purple. This is dioxazine purple and maybe a little bit of mauve. It's kind of what I had mixed up on my palette. I've just added that a little bit to my um, already mixed wash of the reds. Now I'm moving on to the center of this flower. This is the darkest area of the flower. But I realized that I needed to add some more contrast to some of these petals that have already dried. So again, as I work um, and things start to dry and I add darker values. I'm just kind of going back and forth looking at my reference photo and my painting and trying to add in some of those extra details or darker values and contrast as I go. Um, so now I've moved on to the stem and the leaves. Um, at this point I really wasn't sure where I wanted to go with the leaves. If I wanted them to be a little bit more kind of abstract pushed in the background if I wanted to give them a lot of detail so I just started with an initial wash on many of them and then as my flower dried I moved back in to uh, work on some of these petals so again trying to add some more darkness to that center um, I feel like it might have gotten a little bit muddy but again as that darkened up I realized I definitely needed to add some darker values into the rest of my painting. And you can see I'm continuing to use that purple as a shadow color on the left side and then really sticking with just the pinks now on the right and trying to add um, some more of the details as well as some of the dark values I see in between the petals. Um, putting down a little bit of paint and then using a damp or clean uh, brush to just kind of smooth it out or create some gradients and move around the pigment. Um, this is really kind of the, the meddling part of the process where you're just kind of, um, again, always going back and forth between the reference photo and your painting and trying to build up the, the values. And so I feel like I'm getting um, a lot of great uh, contrast now. And um, there are a few places where I felt I lost some of my highlights. And so I pulled out some liquid watercolor. This is a white liquid watercolor. I don't typically use white, but um, this was perfect to add in some of the lighter edges to some of the petals that um, ended up getting covered with one of my washes. Um, so this was by uh, P.H. Martin, the Hydra's watercolor. Um, maybe I'll do a video on that set. Um, but back to this painting. Um, again, continuing to just kind of add those final details. And then it was time to go back into my leaves. So. Um, I started with the second layer on the leaves. Um, again, still wasn't quite sure uh, where I wanted to go with them, but I just went with it. I do kind of wish I had left my background nice and light like it is right about this stage, but um, I ended up, we'll see very soon as I started to build up 
the background color my phone died while I was recording and you miss <laughs> me struggling and adding probably way too much uh, color to the background and again that leaf on the left kind of gave me some trouble um, but made it work and um, now here's the finished product thanks for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe for future content